Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to continue our Bandit games on the Over the Wire platform. As I mentioned over and over, the best approach to improve our cybersecurity skills and also Linux skills is to do hands-on practice as many as possible. So without further ado, let's just get started. And as you can see over here, the here is some description for the next level or level two. The password for the next level or level two is stored in a file called a dash located in the home directory. So it's very clear that we shall deal with dashed file name in this video. Okay, so now we can head over to Linux. Previously, or in the last uh, a video we have already retrieved the password for the level one user. So now we can use this password to SSH to the target. And I'd like to auto complete this command SSH client or command followed by the username and also the host name. And we put the at between username and host name. And then followed by the dash P to explicitly specify the port number. As you know, the uh, this uh, port number triple two and zero is not a default port number by SSH service. So now we can hit enter, and we can yeah, as you can see here, it's asking us for password. We can copy from my notebook and paste in here. All right. We are in the target machine. And first of all, we can uh, press key, control, and L to clear the screen, you know, to get a bigger space on the screen. And now, first of all, we need to run command ls. Usually, I will take the option of alh. You know, alh will be preceded by the dash. And now, we, if you do not explicitly uh, specify the file or directory, and uh, this command to just uh, display content of the current directory, hit enter, and then immediately you can notice this file, the dash. And to retrieve the command, as usual, we can use the command cat and followed by the file name, dash. And uh, it looks like uh, it's waiting uh, for us to input something. But, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, as a matter of fact, we didn't retrieve the content of this file. So now, for now, we just uh, uh, control and C to break the cat. As I mentioned, the most of options in the Linux will be will be preceded by the dash command, as in like this one. So uh, this is the first point. And the second thing for some utilities such as cat the dash would be considered as standard input or standard output. So here, why it looks like it's dead or it's waiting for it's waiting for us to input something because this case cat will consider this one as standard input or keyboard, but we didn't input anything yet. So let me show you again. If you input something, for example, like AA, BB, CC, hey, you, you know what I mean. So, of course, this is not what we want. And uh, so now let's come back to this challenge. After all, we need to retrieve the content of this file. So how to do? There will be several ways. Let me show you, um, you know, one by one. Okay. So the first way we can use, sorry, we can use the cat and then we can use the point or the dot and followed by the slash. So this case, you know, you know the, for the, we can use the uh, different ways to specify the location or the path, like absolute path and also the color or the relative path. So this case, I use the relative path, right? And now we follow by the dash. As you can see, we can retrieve the content of this file successfully. So this would be the first way. Because as you can see over here, this 
Now this time, because we put the point or dot and slash, and in this case cat will not consider the uh, the the dash uh, as the standard input in any way, right? So this is why this time cat can work as we expect it. So this would be the this would be the first way, and the second way we can use the you know we can uh, over overcome uh, this behavior by using redirect and followed by the dash. As you can see, we still uh, get the content of this file. And uh, you know, I just mentioned for some uh, some utilities, the dash would be considered as a standard input or standard output. But for others, they are not. For example, we still can use ls command lah options and followed by the dash. As you can see, we can get the result. For example, like a permission settings and also the owner group time. So I think you know what I mean here, right? Clearly. So we can use other ways or other commands to retrieve the retrieve the content of this file. For example, like more and dash. As you can see, oh, we can get the content of this file as we uh, want, right? So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day, please.